Hello, I am Teresa at Travel by Books, and it is a new pen day. I am here today to share with you my reveal of my new Leonardo Memento Zero Grande 2.0 Primary Manipulation. And as everyone in the pen world knows, these resins are created by Jonathan Brooks of Carolina Pen Company. Let's take a closer look at this beautiful resin. And I am just in love with all of the swirls and mingled colors and patterns in this pen. The pen comes equipped with the La Fenicia nib and an ink window which is covered when the pen is kept. I'm happy about that because I don't really like the exposed ink windows. And this is a piston filler pen. These pens are numbered and the number is located on the back of the cap directly opposite to the clip. Now I had to get out a um, magnifying glass to find the number on my pen because due to the satin finish and the color variations in the resin, I couldn't see it. If you have a loop, you would be able to see it easily with that. But I was able to determine that my pen is number 398 out of 623 total pens that were made. And as I mentioned, this is the matte or sometimes called satin finish. And I think it worked out very well in this pen. Another interesting thing about this pen, interesting to me anyway, is that I ordered this pen through Pen Chalet. And after I got the pen, I thought it looked familiar to me. And so I pulled up the Pen Chalet promotional videos and compared my pen to the videos. And this is the exact pen that Pen Chalet chose to use in their videos. I have paired the pen with Colorverse Martian, which is a beautiful ink, and I think it is a perfect pairing for this pen. The only issue I have is that the Martian comes in such a tiny bottle. You can see that here. It's a 5 ml bottle. So my wish that I am sending out into the ether, into the pen world, vibes, whatever, is that Colorverse will begin to provide the Martian ink in a 20 or 30 ml size. I would love to have more of this because I feel like I have to hoard it and be stingy with it. Colorverse does provide this little plastic pipette to draw the ink up with because the top of the bottle is so tiny and so narrow that you cannot put your pen, nib, and feed down into the bottle to fill your pen. So what I had to do was use the pipette to draw an amount of the ink out and put it in this little plastic cup and fill my pen that way. So it would be nice to have a larger size of the Colorverse Martian ink. While we are talking about the Jonathan Brooks Primary Manipulation Resin, I wanted to show you an example of how different the same resin can look depending on the pen maker. And this is a Primary Manipulation 1 pen made by, turned by Mythic Pen Company. And it is the exact same resin. So you can see how much of a difference there is. It's the same colors, the same swirls, but it just presents differently. And uh, my camera is having a hard time focusing, so I'll stop turning the pen. Here is a size comparison uncapped. 
I'm not going to provide a posted size comparison because all three of these pins are fit piston fillers and I don't cap, uh, I don't post my caps anyway. Here is a size comparison with a Narwhal Nautilus style Voyage Miami and a Leonardo Magico in Galaxy Prime. And this is a pen that I got at the DC Pen Show. I'll be doing a review on that at a later time. And so this is what the Colorverse Martian ink looks like. It's just this glorious shade of orange. And I wanted it for this Leonardo Memento pen because the colors and patterns on my pen reminds me of the colors and patterns of the planet Jupiter. And so I just thought the Martian ink would be a perfect pairing for that. It's just a wonderful ink. And now I will provide a writing sample. pen writes very smoothly. There is no line variation. And the pen keeps up very well with fast writing. The cap will post but I don't really recommend it because of the risk of accidentally turning the piston knob when you remove the cap. The, it does make for a very long pen as well, although the pen is lightweight, so I can't really say that it backweights the pen to any great degree. I'm just more concerned about the risk of having an ink accident. And to conclude my review, there isn't anything that I don't like about the Leonardo Momento Grande 2.0 primary manipulation. It writes well. It feels good in the hand. I enjoy the larger size of the Grande pens. I'm enjoying using the um, pen because of the matte finish and the way it feels in the hand. And, uh, of course, the colors are just gorgeous. Thank you for joining me for my review today.